Hans Wormhat, in this video I want to talk about great ape hoax. There is no such thing as great apes, they're people in fursuits. It's a huge satanic deception to try to get you to think that you're an evolved monkey. You are not an evolved monkey. Evolution is not true. Creatures can adapt, and that's the truth. And that's the way that God made this place, so that things can adapt to the environment that they're in. And evolution that they sell you in school is just a satanic deception. The biggest thing that can just prove that it's wrong is just the, this great ape hoax. That they're fursuits and that they've been created to try to prove evolution. Same thing with, I mean, this goes way past great apes. Animals, fake animals like the platypus that they've just invented to try to prove evolution. Just even looking into the history of the platypus, you can see that people called it as a hoax in the past, but they just, they keep running with it and eventually it gets adopted because now we got CGI so that they can make people believe anything. But uh, great apes, probably the biggest part of the evolution hoax, making people believe that they're just evolved monkeys. And even if you have people out there that deny evolution, let's say that you, you somehow find a pastor that denies evolution, it's not like they're going to be going around saying, oh, it's a big satanic deception, gorillas are just fursuits. No, no, no. They'll just say something like, well, yeah, we have, we have chimps and we have, we have uh, all the orangutans, but we don't have the missing link. They'll just say some really bad like just weak argument like that. We've never found the missing link instead of just coming and telling you the truth, which is their fursuits and to not believe the scientism. It's, they want to play both sides to, they want to get you to accept all the scientism stuff, but then create just a sliver of doubt about it. And it doesn't really help. That doesn't, that's not convincing to anyone to say, Oh, well, they're, they're just missing that one little link. We're being bombarded by propaganda every day telling us that we're just a monkey. So if somebody comes to us and tells us, oh, but they're missing a little link between us and them, that doesn't help anything. But if you can show somebody how to see with their eyes that it's just a fursuit, it breaks the spell. And how much better proof is that? The fact that they're going out of their way to create these fake creatures to make people think that they're monkeys... I have no doubt in my mind that evolution is BS. It's the same thing as waking up to the fake NASA stuff. When you realize how much effort they put into getting you to believe this ball earth lie, I have no doubt in my mind that I live on a flat plane. You know, flat earth, whatever, the way that God made it. I don't... Shills will try to drag you into other stuff. Oh, infinite plane. Oh, blah, blah, blah. blah. No, no, no. The Bible is true. It, the earth is like the Bible says. The Bible doesn't talk about gorillas and chimpanzees and evolution and millions and millions of years. All of that scientism stuff you just got to get rid of because it's a satanic deception. I mean, all of us learned it and it helps to, to escape the deception. It helps to just see their MO, see how they do the same thing for everything. Anything that you've just been brainwashed in into since a young child you should just know that that's a bunch of BS. Outer space land gets pushed on people, on little children. All of these fake animals get pushed on children. Zebras, chimpanzees, all the monkey stuff, gorillas. Uh, yeah, that gets pushed really hard on children. Koalas or animatronics, sloths. There's a reason that these are super popular toys and uh, characters. You don't see a bunch of squirrel toys or skunk toys. No, sloths are very popular, koalas, the fake ones, narwhals, it's not real, it's not a real animal. Anyways, <clears throat> here's just some fake scientism. In the 1930s, two psychologists adopted a baby chimp and tried to raise her as their child alongside their real infant son to see if, if this caused the chimp to learn human behavior. Notice nobody's scared. They, they get you to believe contra uh, contradictory things all the time. They want you to think that these are really dangerous animals, although way in the past, it's like they didn't even try to pretend like they were dangerous. It's a pretty recent thing that they've started being dangerous, but they get you to think that they'll rip your face off any second. Don't go near them. But then look, they're willing to put their child next to it and raise their child alongside of it. So which is it? Are they dangerous or can I just put my child next to it? 
And then they come up with the excuse as well. Oh, these ones have been raised since, since captivity. And no, that's a bunch of BS. There's a bunch of pit bulls out there that it doesn't matter. They were, they were raised as a dog. And I'm not saying that they weren't abused or anything, but a pit bull is a pit bull. Sometimes a pit bull is going to kill a smaller dog. That's the way that it is. If these chimpanzees and if these gorillas have mean tendencies, have aggressive tendencies, it's going to happen. But none of that stuff happened in the past. They were just all happy, cheery with the chimps, smoking cigarettes and things with the chimps in the past. It's a pretty recent thing that they've started having the hoax, oh, ripping off your face stories. Anyways, they stopped the experiment after nine months because their son actually started behaving more like a chimp. Okay, they're just selling you some dumb story. There's no proof that this actually happened. Somebody's just telling you a story. But we've been programmed through whatever TV, the, our life experience, we've been programmed to just trust things that come from an authority source, especially something like science. Oh, somebody did an experiment, guys. This is some serious stuff. But look, what do we really have? We have a photograph, a single photograph, and we just have something that somebody told us. That's not proof of anything. And when you wake up to the gorilla thing, you can see it's just a suit. And this thing is a dude. They're all inverted. And that is a suit. It is a human in a fursuit. What do you think that the people, like, why are, are school mascots even a thing? It's just such a strange thing to dress up in this hot costume and dance around. It's probably a training ground for the trannies that are going to go be a fursuit actor. I know an FTM who loves to bring up, oh, my, my great grandpa was an old Hollywood gorilla suit actor, would bring it up to me. I wonder if they know the truth. I wonder if they know the secret. That there is no such thing as gorillas. They're all actors. They're all people in fursuits. Then you can just see. That's just a fursuit. That's not a real animal. Something about it you can just tell. The nose is not wet. I mean, there's there's just so many things. You just need to go look into it for yourself. There are people in fursuits. They have an animatronic face component. And I've done a lot of videos on it. These are the straight across knuckles of a male. And it looks like they're probably doing a 666 hand sign underneath. And you can see their watch. They almost always make it so that you can see their watch, at least a little bit. They're always wearing watches. Would you really want to wear a watch and be around a wild animal, allegedly? See, no fear in the eyes. It's just a f they're taking a happy photograph. Wearing orange all the time. Looks like an orange backpack to me. The really little ones are midgets in fursuits. I've shown videos all the time of Vern Troyer in a, a gorilla suit. Bright orange turtleneck. Look at that jaw. And it's a fursuit. It's an actor in a fursuit. They love to talk on the phone because it's phony. That's what the phone means. They love to have these photos of people on the phone while one of their hoaxes is happening. It's because it's phony. Can you tell it's a suit? I can tell it's a suit. We got the jack-o'-lantern in the background. Another phone image. It's phony. Doing the 666 sign, hand sign here. Long monkey arms on that MTF and a huge jaw. The magic disappears when you know the truth. Would you let a wild animal get a hold of your camera? And would they be able to take a photo like this? Or are you just being fooled? Look, doesn't even look good. Coco doesn't even look good. Coco is a bad one. <laughs> looks dusty. <laughs> Drinking something that looks kind of orange. Kind of brown-orange, I guess. Playing the guitar with those rubber fingers. Okay, a small kitten. Here's just a story from my life that shows that this is a bunch of BS. One time, for whatever reason, I think we got a new kitten. And we were going over to show it to our neighbors. I don't even know why. But um, And my dad was holding the kitten. And we went over there. And when we opened the door, the, the neighbors had a dog. And the dog kind of ran up to the door. 
that kitten freaked out and it just put all of its claws out and just went like straight through my dad's nail even. And yeah, the kitten freaked out and we just went home. That's how kittens react to animals. If you take a kitten and you put it with a smelly gorilla, there is 0% chance that something like this would happen. It's just a fursuit. It's a person in a fursuit. And it's obvious to me. Once once you know the, the secret, it loses its magic when you know the secret. It's like a magician's trick. When you know the secret to the trick, it's not impressive anymore. Look how bad this one is. Some of the images, you can just tell. This is an image where you can just tell that's a person in a suit. If gorillas were real, they wouldn't have to make fake ones. And they look bad. The old, the farther you go back, the worse they look. I can't believe that I used to believe, believe in this cocoa stuff. It's really bad. They got the orange blanket in the top right. And it's only going to get worse from here. Gorillas are showing signs of learning to talk. Look at the rubbery hands. And I've called it that they're going to have these gorillas start like building huts and stuff. I guarantee it. They'll just keep marching forward with their agenda of, oh, you're just an evolved monkey. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to put a video out and I can never talk enough about this fake great ape stuff because it just demolishes evolution. It just fits right in with their satanic agenda and all all of their MOs are all over this gorilla thing. They love to present us with really bad looking gorilla suits. They, they have so many jokes out there of, oh, it was just a gorilla suit, not a real gorilla when, okay, there is no such thing as real gorillas. And yeah, I, it would be nice if more people exposed this hoax in particular. God bless everybody.